Hello students, your very first assignment is a program that calculates the time taken to pay off credit card. And this video will walk you through how you can solve this problem and also walk through the template code that's given to you to use so that you can complete some of the functions that are marked to, uh, uh, to, complete, the, uh, to complete the assignment. So um, uh, this video will then be, uh, the link will be available here in the assignment and the link to the template will also be available here. So what is this problem about? As you can see, we are required to calculate the number of months taken to pay off a credit card debt. Now, there are several uh, factors that go into paying the credit card off, and that is uh, how much is the balance, what is the interest rate, the annual percentage rate, and how much uh, can you afford to pay every month. These go into, get plugged into a formula, and this looks like a very compli com compli complicated formula, no doubt about that. And it's intentionally kept this way because one of our goals in this assignment is to see how to use function composition to break up a problem into smaller parts and create functions that solve that small part and then join those functions together to solve the bigger problem. So what we will do is we will take this and call this the denominator. We will take this and call this the numerator. And then even when we look into the numerator, this bit is going to be uh, the numerator is going to be broken up into two parts. One part does the calculation for A times I divided by P, where A is the amount on the credit card, P is the uh, monthly payment amount, and I is the monthly rate, which is the APR divided by 12. Before we just use APR divided by 12, we will have to convert it into a double by dividing by 100, and then plug that number as I into this equation. So there will be a uh, method called calculate months. So calculate months will be a method that consists of calculate the numerator, divide that by the denominator, and this will be two function calls. And the numerator functions in turn calls the functions to calculate this inner bit and then plug it all to get, join them all together, which will and return the number of months which, in, which is an integer. So that's going to be our strategy, our top-down strategy. Uh, this is going to be a menu-driven program, and the user can, many, several customers can use this. Customer enters the, uh, his or her name and the details, and a report is printed for them. There's one thing that this uh, method, that this program also does, is that it, uh, which I think it might be easier if I run this program and show this to you. So, um, so let's run this program here. Do you have a data set? Yes. Enter your full name. It's John Doe. Enter the credit card balance. Now, when we enter the credit card balance, we have to keep in mind that there is a certain range that your program should accept and that range is between zero and 5,000. A negative credit card balance will result in, in not being able to proceed with the calculation, and anything greater than 5,000 is considered too much. Um, uh, and uh, the other uh, balance, the, the other range that needs to be checked is the API, the interest rate. It has to be somewhere between five and 30. So it cannot be too low, it cannot be too high. So let's try to do it the correct way, and then we will investigate what happens when the user enters a wrong value and how the input validation is done. So let's start with a thousand. Enter the API, let's go for six. Enter the monthly payments, I'm going to do 100, and then here is the report for John Doe. So the balance is a thousand. Six got converted into divided by 100, so 0 0.06. And here are the number of months is 10, and that makes perfect sense because if you pay $100 a month, then it should take about roughly about 10 months to complete paying um, uh, the loan. What is the meaning of recalculated months for plus 10%? This just means that if the user was able to pay 10% more, i.e. instead of 100, was, was able to pay 110, then they would be able to finish paying off the debt one month sooner so they'd be able to get done in nine months. 
So let's try some stuff and say, what happens if John Doe makes a mistake and then says current credit card balance is 10,000 instead of 1,000. So this clearly says invalid balance. Let's go back again and enter a, a negative value. And this again says invalid balance. So this is a feature called input validation, which needs to be done when we are dealing with real life situations. Now let's enter the credit card balance, which is let's say $4,000 that should go through and enter the API. I would not like to, you can run the program when you, when you write your program uh, and check this out, but your program only permits numbers between five and 30. Let's just go for six again, or let's change it. Let's go for seven. Enter the monthly payments. I'm going to say, uh, I would like to enter 100 and 150. Now here you see our report says the number of months needed is 29 months. And if instead of 150, then um, they were able to pay 165, which is 10% more than 150, then they would be done uh, sooner. So this is, uh, so, and then now if I'd like to exit the program, I can say, do you have a data set? No, and exit the program. Let me show you the template that is given to you, you will be given a main program, which uh, let me see what's going on here. So, um, So here, um, what we've got is a main program, and all that it does is it it calls one single function. Please keep uh, please keep an eye where I indicated do not change, and when it says do not change, just keep everything exactly as it is. Now let's go into the header file, which is a list of all the pr the function prototypes that are needed. Now all the functions, now if you remember from your last week exercise, all the functions headers get put into a, into a header file. Here are all the functions that we are going to use. And we include this file into our um, implementation file. And as you can see, some of the calculate credit card payoff. Oh, okay. So um, here it says, do not change this function. Use the function as it is. And every single place where uh, you uh, do not need to change the function, then uh, you are just welcome to use the code as it is. So do not change. So all of these functions are written for you. What you do need to change is look out for the triple star where it says complete this function. So uh, this and, and, and the comments are given to you about what code needs to go in there so that you can use C++ code. For example, a convert from integer to decimal percentage by dividing API by 100. So this is what we need to do. And here it says complete this function. This is a, a com function to complete months. The formula is given to you here and then you can um, uh, follow the directions that are given. So look for the triple star where it says complete the function and uh, and use the comments as a guideline to uh, generate the code. And here it says do not change. So basically you have one, two, three, four, four functions that are the shell is given to you and all you need to do is just insert some of the code statements there and hopefully you will be fine.